All right, I placed our furnace on the counter here to make it a little easier to work on. A couple things we'll point out while we have it here is this is your off and reset switch for your furnace if you ever need to find that on top and the back. And what we're going after today is our sail switch, which is mounted right here. All right, so to remove the sail switch, you'll need a very small Phillips screwdriver right here. Now when removing the sail switch, I like to disconnect the wires first. Once again, be mindful of which one went where. Wires removed. And when you go to remove it, be very careful not to bend the tab. It'll fall right out when you get it wiggled in the right direction. And there is your sail switch with mounting bracket.